Hello everyone and welcome to the third round of the UCI Marathon World Cup from Morzine Avoriaz. We spoke to some of the elite racers before things got underway at the UCI Mountain Bike World Series Festival Haute Savoie. Yeah, I feel ready, but uh, it will be a really hard day with a hard course, a lot of climbing and yeah, I will see forward. The plan for today is really to ride my own race. Uh, it's been a long season, uh, it's a brutal course, it really exposes all of your weaknesses. If you've missed a couple of trainings, you know, if you're tired, if you uh, haven't nailed the nutrition, uh, the course exposes it all, so I'm really just riding my own race today. One of the toughest marathon courses yet awaited at 100 kilometers in length. The French course featured 1,145 vertical meters of descending. The elite men's field left the line of Morzine first, with the elite women heading out five minutes later. As the men's field descended past the lake, there was a breakaway with Hector Leonardo Paez Leon leading. Behind him were Diego Alfonso and Diego Rosa. Series leader Fabian Rabensteiner was off the pace, sitting back in the chasing pack. In the elite women's race, it was tight between Leia Nimshevich and Vera Luso. with Irina Luchelschwab clinging on. Yeah. Reigning European champion Voy Alleman had had enough in the tech zone at 50 kilometers. I tried everything this week, but still I'm uh, really fatigued and I had uh, no energy at all. And on a course like this, it would have been uh, almost impossible to even finish the race, so I decided yeah. to quit. At 64 kilometers, Vera Luser was starting to build a gap to Leila Ninshevich. On the final climb of the day, at the 85 kilometer point, Hector Leonardo only had a 26 second lead ahead of Rosa and Germany's Andreas Sievald. As they raced back down towards Morzine, it was Leonardo's to lose. Again, the dueling elite women had swapped places. Leia now led Vera on the final climb of the day. Hector Leonardo never looked back. He held his lead on the descent into town, resulting in his first ever UCI World Cup win. Eh, la cara está ta dura, una cara dura siempre tirata. Eh, niente. Eh, tutta la cara, anche verso la fine, sempre a lottare per per la vittoria. The leading women swapped positions again on the descent into Morzine. As they cleared the final tech zone just five kilometers out, Vera Luser was again ahead of Lea Ninchevich. Vera Luser won her first ever UCI Marathon World Cup. Brutal, brutal race. I knew I'm good in the downhill, so I usually came back in the downhill and then I dropped again a little bit on the uphill and then <laughs> towards the end it was just Leila and myself and I just went. I'm like, I'm not letting this go. Here then is confirmation of the results. Lucer takes the win ahead of Limshevich and Lucho Swab with Yanis and Sosna rounding out the top five. Paez Leon also took his first victory in the elite men's race ahead of Rosa, Sivald, Steve Jan and Arias Cuervo. Series leader Robin Steiner was ninth. Leila Nemcevich! Steiner, your series leader! On the overall with one to go, Nemshevich leads the way by a comfortable 240 points from Vera Lucer. And Fabian Rabensteiner leads the elite men's ahead of Paez Leon by just 97 points. And just like that, there's only one round left to go. Join us next time for the final round of the UCI Marathon World Cup from Snowshoe, West Virginia. We'll see you there. <laughs>